Liquid leggings or leather pants are really cute, so here are some ways you can wear your leggings and also some tips for what shoes to wear with these too. First off, these pants are from Forever 21 and I got them from around $20 or $15. These first two outfits involve knit. I have a sweater from Forever 21, a scarf from H&M, and boots from DSW. Knits are really comfortable and casual and the textures go well with the pleather pants. For this next outfit, I chose this sweater. It's my sister's actually. I stole hers for the purpose of this video. It's really big, and she calls it her potato sack. I chose this for the same reasons. It looks comfy and casual, and again, the knits go really well with the pleather pants. The top is from Nordstrom's. These next two outfits are really casual. I have a striped sweatshirt from Macy's and some sparkly sneakers from Justice. Don't judge. I added a statement ring just because this is a little fox from Forever 21. The outfit's purpose is super casual. This next one, again, same idea. I have a kitty sweatshirt from Forever 21. The cats kind of add a more quirky feel. As you know, I am a crazy cat lady, so this is one of my favorite sweatshirts. These are both great ways to dress down the pants. These next outfits are more flirty and cute. I have a dress from H&M that I belted at the waist to make it a bit more shorter and more form-fitting. I wanted it to act more like a shirt in this case. Any long racer back top or long shirt will work for this and I chose to pair it with my combat boots. This next one is probably one of my favorites. While the other one was a bit more on the edgy side with the boots, this one's a bit more casual and flirty, you know, perfect for the movies or a date. So it's basically just a flowy racer back top. This one's from Macy's. You can get a lot like this, especially ones with a cool back like this. And it's just a fitted crop top, you know, just to add some more shape to your look. I added some flats from Steve Madden to give it a more girlier look and a necklace I got for my birthday from our friend Kedra. Any flowy top and any pretty jacket would work great for this look. This is really random out of all of these, but um, button-ups look great with these pants too. As you can see from this intense wind, the shirt is very flowy and lightweight, and I purposely chose an oversized one because it kind of gives it a more casual look. Two fabrics go well together, and I chose these shoes because they're edgy, and it matches perfect with the pants. Now I'm sure almost everyone has heard of the term leather and lace. It's basically combining feminine and masculine aspects. So I have this vintage baby doll top from Buffalo Exchange and some black pumps just to dress it up a bit. This is great if you're going to a nice dinner, but if you want to dress it down, flats are cute too. For this one, I have a lace baby doll top from Nordstrom's and a gold necklace and a gold bracelet. This top is very 70s and the pants are very 80s, so it kind of combines two different eras. I have some tan wedges. I would have had some nude heels, but I unfortunately don't have any. That's going on my Christmas list. But anyway, leather and lace go perfect together. This next one is also one of my favorites because I am using a classic and chic look. I have an average tee from Wet Sale and a blazer from Macy's. These shoes might look familiar. They're from my homecoming video. They are a pop of color to my black and white look. Adding a blazer instantly um, matures your look and provides for a polished, chic look. It's simple yet stunning and goes perfect with the pants. Again, I have another blazer and if you want, you can always button it up too. That always looks really great. But these ones are specifically oversized and for oversized blazers, I like to leave them open. This one is from H&M. Instantly, you have a classic timeless look. Uggs, just don't wear them with these pants. You can wear them with leggings, you can wear them with jeans, just not these certain pants. They just don't match. The edginess and this don't go together. Flip flops don't exactly work either. There's something about the shininess and sleekness of the pants that doesn't go with the casual, laid back vibe of these shoes. I'm just going to be showing you a bunch of shoes that I wore in my video. I have these turquoise Vince Camuto platform heels. They're so cute. And I have these wedges from Steve Madden. They're open-toed just like the heels I just showed you, but somehow they work because of the height and because of the colors. Here I have my classic closed-toed pump. They're um, Jessica Simpson. Um, red or tan would look great too. Now I have some cute 
girly, flirty flats, so really comfortable from Steve Madden. I always feel like Alice Cullen in these. Um, going along with some casual stuff, I have these tall riding boots from DSW. They're so cute, and I wear them all the time. One of my favorites to wear with these are combat boots. They're edgy, just like the pants. These ones are from G by Guess. I definitely recommend wearing these with your pants. For something that's totally fun are these high top sneakers from Justice. Do not judge me! I got these a really, really long time ago, and yet they still fit. Basically, they're just fun, casual, and sparkly. Lastly, my all-time favorite are these wedge booties from Steve Madden, and they're so cute, edgy, comfortable, and go perfect with the pants. Yeah, I just tripped! Then 